Oh, I'm losing it. Lost it a long time ago. But uh, anyway, I don't get news like I used to. I don't chase news like I used to. I'm getting old. What individual in the city that everybody is looking at me and say, is he still in jail? Is he released? Uh, uh, what is he doing? He was, uh, is he out? Uh, anyway, that's Robbie McDonald. And I was in court. Me, his sister, and father were the only people there. Even his lawyer said, uh, as you can see, he has supporters here. I almost went to say, not me. Anyway, I just wanted to see how the court would handle, handle this. So, make a long story short, Robbie thought he was leaving, and he could taste that crystal met right in front of him. He could just taste it. And when he found out that he wasn't going nowhere while well, it started, the crying and, you know, uh, I'm so sorry. Then he thought the guards were going to hurt him. He's going to get killed in jail. Cry, cry. That's what they do when you're on meth. Anyway, the judge, control yourself, Mr. McDonald. You're only going to be there for another 40 days. Next thing you know, it wasn't 40 days. I don't know what happened. Boom, he was out. He was out maybe in about two weeks. So I don't know what's going on again. So I just found out that he he's going to have his, uh, tomorrow morning, he's going to have his plea, his, uh, what do you call it, plea bargain to whatever, to go out, to be released, which he won't. Uh, the charges are breach of probation, uh, possession of drugs or influence of drugs. Uh, there's a, could be arson in there. Is it connected to what's, uh, what happened uptown there a few days ago? I don't know. Who knows? But the word was out that Robbie McDonald was out and he was just going and going after people for money. That's after the judge says, you know, you're going to be on probation. So, and he had 19 pages full of criminal code for the last uh, criminal charges for the last 30 years and even the prosecutor said I never seen so many pages of you know somebody that broke the law now if I broke the law once ha out or should I say in out the courthouse in the provincial jail for two years but you know that's the way the system works so am I going to go there tomorrow and see uh, what's going on? Nah. Uh, I think it's disgusting that the citizen don't know the verdict. Citizen don't know who's in court. The government is posting on their website who's going to be in court. But they don't say the verdict. And if you don't see justice in, that, in action, it's justice denied or it's, it's not a democratic system at all it, which in New Brunswick it is not so um, yeah so Robbie McDonald is in court to, oh, tomorrow what time 9.30 no 1.30 1.30 tomorrow afternoon hmm. yeah I wonder if his family is going to be there again they even, they even hired a lawyer for him. I don't, I don't understand it. I mean, he's going to come out and he's going to just go on that. That's it. That, that's all he knows. And uh, that's it. There's no help. And he, you could bring a horse to water. Me, he made my friend, uh, he made my friend uh, cry and everything. And ever since then, I went to Fini call him a jerk now. Anyway, the jerk is going to be in court tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon at 1.30. He should be in jail for the next year, hopefully. 